Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Oh, 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 oh. Aprovechando ahorita. Yes. Go ahead. Eh, no hice la tarea. And I think you're not you're not the only one. I think you're not the only one. Sé que no eres la única, así que don't worry about it. So I know there's. No sé que voy super atrasada, pero mañana me pongo al día. Lo prometo. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I completely Gracias. understand that you you are probably tired that you work during the day so i know that's very very tiring so i understand that don't worry okay gracias teacher you're welcome Okay, guys, so it is already time for us to start the class. Thank you so much for always being on time. And um, well, some people are always on time. So I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much for that. So um, yesterday, we couldn't complete the exercises because we didn't have enough time. Uh, but I'm guessing you complete the exercises, didn't you? In my case, completely no teacher. Just a half, a half of them. A half? Uh, Many of the half. <laughs> so today we're going to see if you didn't do it at home, we will resolve it here. And uh, I will check if you understood the topic or, or if you didn't in this case. Uh, because for me, it is very important, guys, that you get to understand each one of the topics that we have or that we have been studying. Because next module you're going to go, it's going to be something really different, guys. It's not going to be the same, and it's very important that you know how to um, how to use those topics that we already checked. So um, we're going to try to resolve right now the exercises that we couldn't complete yesterday, because today we're going to see a whole new topic. It's going to be a very different topic, and uh, we need to complete what we didn't finish yesterday. So we're going to start um, now. And the other ones are going to be connecting through the whole session. So um, as you can see right here, this one and this one right here, those two exercises are the ones that we suppose to work at home. All right. 
So uh, I'm going to ask random people, very random, just for me to check if you understood. All right, so we have seven right here. I'm going to start in order. Number one, Ana Yancy. Number two, Elias. Number three, Ana Maria Lopez. Number four, Elena Martinez. Number five, Lisette Montoya. Number six, Claudia Iraeta. And number seven, Carlos Guevara. So you already know your number. Go ahead. Okay. Had you go to a school? Can you repeat Have it again? Do you? Mm -hmm. Ah, que lo repita. <laughs> no, repeat it again, please. Okay. Have you go to a school? Can you do me a favor and try to write it down in the chat so I can verify <laughs> if you did it correctly? Because I can, I listen to a very different um, sense. Um, solo le agregué el, el do you? So it, it is how, how do you? Okay, now I understand. How uh, do, uh, uh -huh. Okay, now I understand. Okay, so okay. it is how, how do, do you? Do, uh -huh. do you? go uh -huh. to a school all right so that's perfect then how do you go to okay. school that's very good okay. okay thank you so much so number two yo escribí where does he work is it correct let me ask you elias is it correct if i say something like this where does he works is that correct Ah, ok, ok. No, I'm, I'm just asking you. Te estoy preguntando. ¿Is that correct? ¿Está correcto? Sí. Yes. It is correct. Then. Ana María, I saw that you, you were saying no. Why no? El verbo no cambia porque es una pregunta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. no, no se me confunda ahí, ¿verdad, Elias? So it is sí. the simple okay. press. Okay. So number three. Number three. Uh, yo en este tengo duda, teacher, pero podría ser... Oh. When do you... And class and pero es que pienso que es al inverso. Just say it, say it as the way you think it is. Solo dila, and we are going to try to. Okay, figure okay, it. okay. Mm -hmm. When do you class end? Okay, this is what you said. I will write it down. When do you class end? Mm -hmm. This is what you said. Mm -hmm. Esto es lo que tú dijiste. For uh -huh. the other ones, para los otros compañeritos. Is it correct what she said? Está correcto como ella lo dijo, compañeritos, the other ones. Teacher, yo pensé que era when do you end, end. class? Hmm. Let me see. When do you end class? So we have two options right now. Do you? Do you? Uh -huh, do you? Uh -huh. Oh, do you? All right. Let me write it down once again. So it will be when do you end class? This is what Lisette said. Another option, or do you guys consider that these two options are correct? Los demás, verdad? No solo estuvo Ana Maria y Lisette en la clase, estuvieron los demás. So I need you to tell me, is this correct? Yes, teacher. Which one of, cuál es de las dos? 
Para mí es you class N. Do you, when do you class end? When do you class end? When do you class end? Like that? Your loved one. Okay. <clears throat> So let me see. Raise your hand, levante la mano if you think that number one is correct. Raise your hand. So Ana Yancy, Elias, Claudia, and Jose Mario as well. Jose Manuel, I'm sorry. And Brenda as well. Right. Now raise your hand if you think the number two is correct. Okay, we got Lisette. Por supuesto. We, of course, we got Elena. We got who else? Number two? No. Okay. Oh, Miriam. Miriam as well. So, now, raise your hand if you think the number three is correct. Number three? No one? Nadie piensa que las tres está correcto. No. Okay. So, with that being said, guys, déjenme decirles que ninguna de las tres está correcta. Okay, okay. So, they're right. When does the class is in? Something like that. When does the class is in? Class. And Bye. when Bye. does the Hola. class end? Mira. When does. ¿Por qué utilizamos das? De la clase. De una tercera persona. De una. Exactly. We're talking about a third person. You see? So number four. Una persona. ¿Quién tenía el number four? So show me. Yo. All right, who is yo? Teacher, no hice la, la tarea. <laughs> no, just tell me. Just tell me what you think it is. Solo dime lo que piensas que podría ser. Number four. Uh, According to the class we saw yesterday. Okay. What do your father? Oh, good. What do your father what? What do your father? What do your father? Do your, your father. So this is what she said. What do your father do? Let me see. Uh, Glenda, I what? see that you raise your hand. So what's the answer for that? Glenda. What, what does your father do? What does? Very good. What does your father do? What does your father do? Very good. So who has number five? ¿Quién tiene número cinco? Eh, yo, teacher. Um, yo así lo entendí. Who do you see in the photo? Excellent. Who do you see in the photo? In the photo. ¿Qué pasó? Very good. Photo. Who do you see in the photo? Very good. So now, number six. Who has calor. Yo por eso abrí aquí. Yo, teacher. Dale. How many housing do you have? I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you said. Can you repeat it again? How many? Who many? Who many? Uh-huh. Housing. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh -huh. um, 
Apaguen los micrófonos, porfa. All right. Gracias. So, are you guys sure that that one is correct, number six? How many cousins do you have? How many cousins? Is that correct, guys? No, teacher. Verbo... Do you have? Yes. Who? I'm sorry. El verbo no tiene que ir al final. Who is saying that? What's your name? Sara. Oh, Sara. Okay. So, what is your option? ¿Cuál es tu opción? How many do you have cousins? Hmm. How many do you have cousins? Oh. Cousins? Um, so, okay. with that being said, <laughs> which one of the two options? If you think, si piensan que número uno está correcta, please, en el chat, escriban número uno. Now, if you think the number two is correct, please type number two. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I can see your answers. Okay. All right. Okay. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. All right. So I can see right now that Victoria, Ana Maria, Ana Yancy, uh, yes, Ana Yancy, Carla Vanessa, Lisette, Glenda, Elvis, and uh, Elena Martinez, you all are correct. ¿Por qué la number one is correct? La número uno es correcta. Si bien en ocasiones, eh, o nosotros sabemos que después de decir, uh, do you have, y después tenemos que decir un sustantivo, no siempre va a ser de esa manera. Si se fijan en la number three, we have the verb at the end. Tenemos el verbo al final. Number four, tenemos el verbo al final. Number five, lo tenemos in the middle, en el medio. But... The right answer for number six, it is, how many cousins do you have? That's the right answer. So it means number one. But thank you so much for people that is participating. So who got number seven? I, why do you, why do you go, why do you get up early on Sunday? Early on Sundays. Okay, this is what you said. Why do you get up early on Sundays? Is that correct? Guys, let me see. I'm going to ask someone. Uh, Claudia Iraeta, can you tell me if this number seven, it is correct? And if it is correct, Tell me why, according to what you already know. Dime por qué piensas que está correcta de acuerdo a lo que ya vimos, todo lo que hemos visto. Bueno, bueno, si está correcta, para mí sí está correcta porque tiene aquí. Y es que sí, acaba de decir, que el verbo no precisamente tiene que ir al final, sino que puede ir en cualquier lado. All right. Yes, it's a very good explanation. So this is the way, guys, we're supposed to work this part. But what about part number two? ¿Qué hay de la parte número dos? Do you understand what you're supposed to do in this part? ¿Saben qué es lo que se tiene que hacer en esta parte? In this part... Hacer las preguntas. Exactly. exactly. Oh. So, because las personas que ya participaron, now we're going to select another people. It means Miriam Eraso will get number one. Jose Manuel Rosales Navarro will get number two. Victoria will get number three. Wendy Ileana number four. 
Uh, Erika Cepeda, number five. Sara Elizabeth, number six. Elena, number seven. And uh, is it uh, Elvis? Okay, yes. Elvis, we've got number eight. Let me see, Lisette. Number nine, and Cynthia, the last one. So go ahead, guys. All right. Hello. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, I, I just I just want the guys, I can listen to escucha un sonido, guys. Can you please? Okay, thank you. All right, so no, um, it's not necessary to say your name. I just need you to give me the question for that answer. La pregunta a esa respuesta. Your name is Paul. No, what's the question? Oh, is, is, what's your name? What's your uh, name? What's your name or what is your name? All right. Who got number two? What? Who got number two? Who do you live? What do you live? I live in, in Discipline. Repeat it again, I'm sorry. What do you live? What, what do you live? What do you live? Is that correct, is, guys? Where? Is where do you live? Where do you where live? Where are you from? Where are you from? No, I cannot say where are you from. Porque where, cuando, cuando where yo do digo, you live? Cuando yo digo where are you from, me refiero a país. No me refiero a un lugar específico del país. So, it is where do you live? All right, number three. Mm, I'm not sure, but I think it's what are you doing? What are you doing? Very good. No estaba segura, pero en realidad estaba correcta. All right. So the next one. Mm, wow. Where? Mm -hmm. Where in my shoulder back? Mm. Is, no sé. <laughs> What is that? What? What is that? No, it cannot be what is that because if I say what is that, you have to say, oh, that is something. Iba bien. La primera que estaba diciendo iba bien. Solo que school what? back is not there. Shouldn't be there. So if I say where is, where is? I'm where sorry. Is? For example, if I say, where is my pencil? ¿Dónde está mi lápiz o mi lapicero? Uh -huh. En la respuesta es, está en mi mochila. It's on my bag, uh -huh. in school bag. So, okay. So, the next one. What food it is? I'm sorry, repeat it again. What fruit it is? What fruit is it? What fruit it, it. is it? Okay, it's an apple. Very good. So the next one. Next. What are you do? I'm sorry. Repeat it again. What are you do? Where are you do? We cannot say where are you do. Simplemente decimos where are you? ¿Dónde estás? Where are you? Where are you? ¿Dónde where estás? Are you? I, I'm at home. Estoy en la casa. All right. Okay. Yeah. So the next one. Voy yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Who is your best, your best friend? My best friend is Mike. Very good. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Mike. Excellent. The next one. Next one. Who is your father? 
Excellent. Very good. The next one. Uh, who is she? Excellent. She's Sylvina. And the last one. What time is it? Very good. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Excellent. So that with that, guys, we finished the exercise that we supposed to complete yesterday. And uh, we did a great job, actually. It was very good. Some, some questions right there were not completely understandable, right? Algunas preguntas que nos dieron un poco ahí de, de problemas, but in general, it was very good. So um, with that being said, guys, today we have a new topic. And uh, the topic that we have for today, it is about adjectives. Have you ever heard about adjectives before? Yes, no? Yes. Do you know what an adjective is? En español es lo que describe a algo. And that's the same in English. In English, an adjective, it is something that will help you to describe a noun, okay? So today, we're going to learn how to describe a noun and the placement that adjective has, uh, that an adjective uh, have uh, in a sentence, okay? So first of all, to start, I will, uh, I will need to let you know a brief meaning or a brief explanation about what an adjective is. So I will need uh, Glenda Ramos' help. Help me reading this part, please. What is an um, adjective? Mm -hmm. An adjective is a word you use to describe a person, play, or think. An adjective modifies noun or pronoun. Okay, thank you so much. As it says over there, guys, an adjective is a word that we use to describe a person, place, or a thing. An adjective can modify a noun or a pronoun, all right? So we're going to understand, guys, and we're going to see step by step the way we use adjectives. For example, we have an example right here. It was the gray cut. It was the gray cut. As you can see, the words in bold, las palabras en negrita, are the adjective. It was the gray cut. ¿Por qué el color gris es un adjective? Porque está describiendo al gato. Está diciendo que el gato es gris. All right. So in number two, I like black coffee. In this case, also once again, El color negro está describiendo the noun coffee, referring to que el café es negro. So this is the general idea, guys, for you to understand a little bit about adverbs. And here we have a very, very uh, explained information. Example, it says right there that we can use an adjective with the verb be. Podemos utilizar un adjetivo con el verb be. For example, John is old. John o Juan está viejo. We can also, but this is for the positive or affirmative sentences. We can also use the verb be plus an adjective in the negative form. The pattern or the, or the formula that you need to follow, la formula que necesitan seguir es, El verb be plus not plus an adjective. That's the formula. Example, John is not Jong. John is not Jong. Here we have verb be, the word not, and the adjective Jong. So with that being said, guys, we can also... Um, use adjectives in questions with the verb be, siempre con el verbo to be. 
All right, and how do we make that question? Example, if we have the sentence, he's happy, what we are going to do is that we move the verb be at the beginning, then the personal pronoun, and then the adjective. And of course, at the end, the question mark. So if we have the sentence, he is happy, and we change that sentence to a question, it will be, is he happy? So you see, here is the difference, or here is the, oh, this is the way that we change one sentence with the verb be to a question. The short answers that we are going to give to this type of questions, it will be just he is or no, he isn't, whether it is affirmative or negative. It's up to you. Here we have some more examples, guys. Tenemos más ejemplos acá. And uh, in this part, we have the examples right here. Example, I am tired. You are nervous. He's tall. She's happy. It is round. We are cold. You are hot. They are hung angry. I'm sorry, angry. So as you can see, the formula or the pattern that we are using still the same. Personal pronoun, verb B plus adjective. This is the easiest way, la forma más fácil to understand about adjectives. So with that being said, guys, is there any question? What mean it is round? I'm sorry? What mean it is round? It is round, like a ball, round. Ah, uh, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right, any other question, guys? No question. No questions. All right. So we're going to move forward. And here we have la manera or the way, la manera en que vamos a colocar los adjetivos in a sentence es de esta manera. Por eso están enumerados. Number one, primero vamos a colocar los adjetivos de opinión. Adjectives of opinion. We have some examples right there. Amazing, fantastic, wonderful, awful, awful, okay? Those are adjectives of opinion for why? If I said amazing, what am I saying? Asombroso. Asombroso o oh. increíble. If I say, Asombroso. if I say fantastic, that's very simple, right? Fantastico. Fantastic. See, wonderful. Maravilloso. Maravilloso. If I say awful, estoy diciendo horrible, ¿verdad? awful. Horrible. So, el, eh, este adjetivo awful and horrible son sinónimos. Significan lo mismo. Horrible or awful. Both of them are correct, okay? So, number one, adjectives of opinion. Number two, adjectives of size, length, and age. We have some examples right there. Small, big, tall, short, long, and huge, huge. All right, so number three, we have the adjectives of physical qualities. Example, thick, thin, smooth, sharp, hard, soft. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. What is yield in Spanish? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you're saying. Do you, do you mean this one right here? H. Yes, you, uh, sí, yes, yes. Oh, uh, huge. Huge es como grande, huge. pero de una, de una, de algo super inmenso. That's a huge. 
El significado es enorme, digamos así. Como una ballena, teacher. Um, it kind of like that, but no necesariamente de un largo, sino que hablamos como de, como de una cantidad, de algo súper grande, inmenso, enorme. So huge es sinónimo con enormous o enormous. Enorme y huge are synonyms. Son sinónimos. So they both have the same meaning, but as you can see, they, the, the way that they are greeting, la forma en que están escritas es muy diferente, but they have the same meaning. Tienen el mismo significado. All right. So we got the three first one. One opinion to size, length, and eighth. Number three, physical quality. Now we go with H. Vamos con la edad. H. Young, ancient, old, teenage, mature. So, joven, anciano, viejo, adolescente, y maduro, mature. So, I see that someone raised the hand. Carlos, any question? How do you say in Spanish sharp? Sharp. Es como alguien que es um, como muy, muy, muy recto. I mean, en lo que hace, ¿no? Right, like, very sharp. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Thanks. all right. So now we go with uh, number five. We have the shape. Shape, la forma, right? So we have the square, el cuadrado, square. We have the round, redondo, or circle. We have the circular. Round and circular son sinónimos. Significa lo mismo, but si se fijan, están escritos de diferente manera, but they are synonyms. Round and circular. We have rectangular, and uh, those are just examples, guys. There's a lot more of them. But these ones right here are just examples for you to understand. So we have the color, white, yellow, red, all of them you already know. Origin, number seven. When we talk about origin, cuando hablamos de origen, nos referimos al gentilicio, like Spanish, British, English, French, American, things like that, como Español, Britannico, Inglés, Francés, Americano. That's why we talk about the origin. Number eight. If we wanted to talk about material, material such as tales como madera, wooden, plastic, metal, cotton, gold, plástico, metal, algodón y oro, gold. Those are for number eight. And the last one, number nine, it is about a purpose, el propósito. And these ones, most of the time, we're going to use verbs. En este de propósito, casi siempre se van a utilizar verbos que pueden actuar como adjectives. Si ustedes se fijan, we have cooking, que es cocinar, cleaning, limpiar, sewing, um, coser, washing, lavar. All right? So, remember, guys, recuérdense el orden, okay? Because we have an activity right now. Tenemos una actividad here. Con el orden que acabamos de ver, guys, with the order that we just saw, I need you to please put the adjectives in the correct order. En la forma correcta. Y todos, you have one minute, un minuto, para enviarme su respuesta through the chat. Do it now, please. Okay. 
Okay. Just one minute, guys. Solo un minuto y aún no veo nada. All right, I got Elvis. I got Ana Maria. Recuérdense que todas las palabras que están ahí vamos a usar. Todas. All of them. I got Cynthia's. I got Sarah Elizabeth as well. I got Jose Manuel Rosales. I got Juliana. I got Claudia. She just put the numbers, but I mean, it's okay. I got Elizabeth, Elias. I got Lisette, Carla Vanessa. I got Victoria. I got Elena. I got Anna Johnson. Brenda, all right. Carlos Guevara, Miriam, got it. All right. Cynthia, okay. Jonathan. And Maria Luz de Nieto, Claudia, Glenda, Erica. All right. So I think that I got most of you guys. All right, very good. So let's see. This is the way it's supposed to be. A tall, young, black American player. Now let me see who got it correct. Uh, Miriam got it correct. And Erica as well. Claudia, Maria Luz de Nieto, Jonathan, Jonathan, Cynthia, Carlos, Brenda, Anna Jansi, Elena, Victoria, Carla Vanessa, Lisette. Oh no, Lisette got, she didn't got it correctly. So, John Black, okay, Elias, Elizabeth. Elvis, Sarah. All right. So I see, guys, most of you got it correctly. That's something very good. So now that you understand the place that you have to put in a sentence or the place that you have to give to, so to the adjectives, now you're getting an extra idea in the future. For example, if you have an exam or something that will request you to put in order the adjectives, now you will know how to do that. So that's very important. So let's move on. These guys is very important uh, that you know this, this part. Why is this important? ¿Por qué es importante? Because para nosotros identificar, for us to identify an adjective, supongamos que tenemos una oración y nos piden encontrar el adjective. Y nosotros no sabemos cómo encontrarlo o cuál es. Very easy. Tenemos tres preguntas que nos van a dar la respuesta de cuál va a ser un adjective en una oración, aunque nosotros no sepamos cuál es. Si estas tres preguntas, if these three questions do not, no les dan una respuesta, Significa que en la oración, there's not an adjective, no hay un adjetivo. Si estas preguntas no dan respuesta a alguna palabra de las que está en la oración, no hay adjetivo. Pero si nos dan una respuesta, significa que la respuesta que nos den, that's the adjective. So, we have number one, that is which one. Number two, what kind. Number three. How many? So let's see some examples right here. Vamos a ver un ejemplo aquí. We have the, the sentence. Tenemos la, la oración. 
It was the gray cat. Tengo la oración. It was the gray cat. Si yo no supiese que el gray es el adjective, yo pudiera hacerme la pregunta. Which was the cat? Si me hago la pregunta, ¿cuál fue o cuál gato fue? Me daría ya la respuesta que fue the gray. The gray, el gris, el gato gris. So automatically, automáticamente, I know that the adjective of this sentence is the word gray. Are you following me, guys? That's the end? All right, good. So we have number two. I like black coffee. Entonces vengo. Y si yo digo which coffee, which coffee do I like? Estaría correcto si yo me hago esta pregunta. Which coffee do I like? No. no. Porque si yo digo which coffee do I like, yo estaría preguntando cuál café me gusta. Y en ese caso, si yo digo cuál café me gusta, no podría utilizar black. ¿Por qué? Porque este es un tipo de café. ¿Sí? Por eso es que yo debo de utilizar what kind, qué tipo. That's why I have the question here. What kind of coffee do I like? Qué tipo de café me gusta? Y la respuesta a esa pregunta es black. Black coffee. So automatically, automáticamente yo sé that the adjective is the word black. Are you understanding, guys? All right. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, um, as we saw at the beginning. Teacher, um, a mí no me quedó claro. No sé si lo podría repetir, por favor. What part is not clear for you? ¿Cuál part? Eh, la... mm -hmm. Which part? ¿Cuál part? Mm, la de la segunda. Oh, this one number two. Okay. Uh, we have the sentence. Tenemos la oración, I like black coffee. Me gusta el café negro. No puedo hacer la pregunta con which. Si yo digo, which coffee do I like? ¿Cuál café me gusta? Para nosotros en español tendría sentido. Pero si yo digo, ¿cuál café me gusta? En este caso yo me estaría refiriendo a cuál de todos los, los establecimientos de café, ¿sí? ¿Cuál café me gusta? Por ejemplo, en, en El Salvador tenemos Starbucks, tenemos... Eh, bueno, um, coffee, coffee Cup. Coffee Cup. Valdez. Yeah, Valdez. We have all those. So, si yo hago la pregunta, which, uh, which coffee do I like? Estoy preguntándome qué lugar de todos esos. Pero como yo veo acá que yo quiero saber qué, qué tipo me gusta, porque en el, en el tipo está el café amargo, el que el café dulce, el café con cremora, el café con and so on and so on. You know? So, um, the, the question that I need to ask, la pregunta que yo tengo que hacer es qué tipo de café. Porque no me estoy refiriendo al lugar, me estoy refiriendo al tipo de café. So that's why I asked the question, what kind of coffee do I like? ¿Qué tipo de café me gusta? Y la respuesta a esa pregunta es black. Black coffee. Entonces automáticamente I know, automatically, that the adjective, que el adjetivo en esta oración es la palabra black. Ok. So is it clear now? Yes. All right. Thank Perfect. you. So here we have, guys, things that are always true. What that, that means? It means that oh, the, what we saw at the beginning, right? Lo que vimos al inicio. We have here some examples of some sentences using 
each one of the, utilizando todos los tipos de adjetivos. Yes. For example, uh, Elvis. And sentence number four. ¿Cuál pregunta podrías tú hacerte para saber el adjective brown? What kind? Tell me the whole sentence. La pregunta completa. Uh, uh, what kind? Eh, ya me perdí. Relax, chill out, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What? What kind of table is is that? Hmm. What kind of temple is that? Table. It's a brown table or yes, it is correct. But the question is what kind of what kind of table is it? What is kind it? of table is it? A okay. brown, a brown table. So, in este okay. caso, esa pregunta nos va a dar la respuesta to the brown, okay? So, I think that we are clear on this part, aren't we? Is there any question so far? So far, so good. Todo bien? Questions? No question, guys. No question. An example, an example. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, they use the uh, how many? Cuando utilizamos how many, vaya, ahora viene la pregunta. Cuando utilizamos how many? Ayer lo vimos. Let's start there. Vamos a empezar por ahí. Cuando. Non countable. Cuando somos nombres contables. Non countable. Sí. Entonces. Cuando tengamos un non-countable right there, for example, if I say, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me think about it. Mm -hmm. Do we, did you say that we use how many for countable or non-countable? Countable. We use it for countable? Countable. Countable. What is the adjective right there, guys? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo en esta oración? We have three tables in the restaurant. Three tables? Three tables. Table. Three tables. Table. Three tables. Table. ¿Están seguros que table, table es el adjective? Three. 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 The number three is three. el adjective. Three. ¿Por, ¿Por qué es number three? Porque si yo vengo y hago la pregunta, how many tables do we have in the restaurant? ¿Cuántas mesas tengo o tenemos en el restaurante? La respuesta a esa pregunta va a ser three. Entonces, automáticamente yo sé que el adjetivo en esa oración es el número tres. Y ahí, Sara, estamos utilizando la pregunta how many. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right. Is it clear now, guys? Está más claro? Are you following me? Are you understanding? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, uh, here we have, let me see, Maria Luz de Nieto. Can you please correct uh, sentence number one?
Corregirla. Adjective. No, corregir la oración. Correct the, question, the, the, okay. the mistake. Uh, I like green, green cars. Green cars. Okay, I like green cars. ¿Qué pregunta? Let me see. ¿Qué pregunta? What question would you ask Claudia Iraeta to find the adjective? De las tres preguntas, which one would you use para encontrar el adjective if we say I like green cards? Which one color car? Hmm. What do you like? What do you like? No, I cannot. Recuérdense que solo tenemos tres preguntas. Y what do I like? No, está en las tres preguntas. Which one car do you like? Which one car do you like? Vamos a ver. Let me see. Which one? Which one car do, do I like? De acorde a las preguntas like? que vimos like? ayer, está correcta esa pregunta, chicos. Ayer vimos WH. No, porque which se ocupa para dos objetos. Mm -hmm. Porque se es which es para escoger. Hay una, uh, tenemos que elegir. Uh -huh. So, what is the question that I need to use para saber el adjetivo? En este caso, el adjetivo es green. If I have, I like green cars, ¿cuál pregunta me haría yo para que me diera la respuesta green? What, what kind? What kind of uh, color? What is you like? favorite color. What is your favorite color? No podemos <laughs> utilizar what porque what no está en las tres preguntas what que no podemos hacer. What kind? What, kind? what kids do you like color car? Mm. Who's one? Who's one? Uh, I like green car. Okay, let me give you the answer. What kind of cars do I like? Nada de agregarle otras, otras palabras que no están en la oración. Por ahí escuché que andaban diciendo color, que no sé qué, y que no sé cuándo agregando palabras. No, chicos, nos complicamos mucho. Y el inglés no es de complicarse. ¿Sí? We're complicating ourselves a lot. ¿Sí? Ahí estaba la respuesta. If I have the... Si tengo la oración, I like green cars. Vengo ahora y me pregunto, what kind of car do I like? ¿Qué tipo de carros me gustan? Green cars. So, there I know that I'm talking about the green cards. So is it clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Espero que ese yes vea a la hora de la práctica si sea un yes de verdad, vea. All right. So, guys, due to the fact that we just have... Um, that we just have four minutes. We're going to, um, let me see. Oh, we didn't even finish this part right here. No completamos esta parte de acá. Let me ask someone else. Let me see number number three, Erika Cepeda. Can you help me to resolve number three? 
to correct the mistake if there's a mistake? Hi, I think one minute. I'm sorry. She's happy. She's happy, that's for number two. What about number three? A tall woman. A tall woman, okay. Can I ask a question to with the number two? She's happy. Is she happy? Which, which one happy? Okay. Como, okay. Como, como pregunta, perdón que le interrumpa, teacher, pero mm -hmm. ¿cómo ocuparía alguna de las tres preguntas con ese adjetivo? ¿Cómo podría decir who many is she? Okay. No. There, there we, we are going there. Se recuerdan que at the beginning we saw that we can use adjectives with the verb be. Entonces, las preguntas con el verbo to be are different. Estas preguntas que tenemos acá son cuando nosotros no tenemos verbo to be. Oh, okay. ¿Sí? If we have the verb be, we are going to ask, is she happy? Por ahí escuché que alguien la dijo. Is she happy? La respuesta sería, yes, she is happy. Ahí cambia la cosa completamente, right? Okay. 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 So what about number three? Someone already said, a tall woman. ¿Me puedo hacer una pregunta para encontrar el adjetivo? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What kind of woman is she? What's your name? Victoria. Okay, Victoria. Can you repeat it again? Uh, I'm not sure. What kind of woman is she? What kind? of woman is she. Oh, she. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct para los demás? Thank you so much, Victoria, for your participation. No, teacher, porque ya lleva ahí el verbo to be, y usted dijo que ahí no va, o sea, que con el verbo to be es diferente la el tipo de pregunta, no se utilizan esas tres. Mm -hmm. The other ones, ¿qué hay de los demás? Yo digo que sí está correcta porque está preguntando como, como que, qué clase de mujer es ella, ve ahí está contestando que es una mujer alta. Mm -hmm. Entonces, y ahí, ahí está diciendo, o sea, y como no sabemos en a woman tal o a tal woman, no sabemos, no conocemos el verbo to be. Entonces, lo estamos haciendo en la pregunta. Lo, por eso se ocupa el what can, el which, las otras que, que usted dijo. Así entendí yo, pero no sé si, si es correcto. And you are right. Mm -hmm. Y estás en lo correcto. Si bien, Lizette, we said that before, but in this case, Debido al hecho de que no sabemos si se está utilizando el verbo to be o no en la oración, like in the number two, como en la número dos, that we already know, que ya sabemos that the verb be is right there. Que el verbo to be ya está ahí. But in this one, we don't know. So for us, para nosotros poder encontrar el, um, la respuesta de what kind of woman, It's she, porque ya sabemos que woman es una mujer, por eso de acorde a gramática estamos utilizando it's she. 
but no necessariamente, but not necessarily, is because we are using the verb be in the sentence, right? So that's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. Because if you ask the question to yourself, what kind of woman is she? The answer to that question will be, It's a tall, uh, tall woman. Tall woman. So tall, automatically, we will know that that's going to be the adjective. So is it clear now, guys? Have you understood what I just said? Entendieron todo? Yes. So, so. So, so, okay. So, so, so. so with that being said, and because we don't have enough time, guys, it is already 9.03, the exercises that we have here are going to be for tomorrow. This time, the exercises, I need you to work on that. They are not difficult because in the first part, what you need to do is just to put the words in the right order. Solo poner la, la, las palabras en, en el orden correcto. And in number two and number three, lo que necesitamos es solo poner a qué tipo pertenece. Do you remember that we saw lo que vimos al inicio? Shape, opinion, purpose, color, right? So, in numero dos, numero tres, that's what we are going to do. Solo poner a qué tipo. Si es the opinion, si es the size, si es the shape, si es color. Si es origin, si es material, that's what we need to do in this part, okay? And I consider that this is not difficult, okay? So this is going okay. to be for tomorrow, guys. Solo no nos tomamos a una nada más, teacher. A la número dos, tal vez lo, lo puede poner nuevamente. En el grupo. Oh, if, if you want, guys, well, I'm going to send you, les voy a enviar la presentación. So you can have that. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Thank, you. So, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys. This is thank you, thank you. This is all for today. Keep working on the platform, please. If you have questions, let me know through the WhatsApp group because I'm going to be there to help you out. So that's all for today, guys. See you tomorrow at the same time. Good same tomorrow. Time. Okay. Good night to you thank all. You all. Oh, good thank night, you. Okay. Bye bye. Take bye. care. Bye.